It's one of life's most intriguing and often frustrating mysteries. No matter how charming, sweet, funny or intelligent you are, the object of your desire just isn't interested and has his or her sights set on another. But why is this? What makes someone attractive to one person and not another? Psychologists have studied attraction in order to understand why people select certain partners and what effects this can have on their relationships. Health psychologist and associate professor at James Cook University in Townsville, Dr Francis Quirk. There's quite a lot of research evidence around preferences and mate choice being associated with things like um, body symmetry, facial symmetry, uh, particular body shape and all of those from evolutionary theory are related to uh, reproductive quality of the individual. There are certain traits that men and women want. So for men, higher levels of testosterone drive particular body shapes and facial symmetry and muscularity and muscle tone. Um, and almost all women, if they're... Um, if their sexual preferences, men would, would look at a man who had that sort of body shape and go to themselves or to someone else, oh yeah, no, he's nice. For women, oestrogen is the hormone that drives the sort of body shape flag, the cues for reproductive success. And women who are higher in levels of oestrogen tend to have more of an hourglass figure. The human race is primed to respond to biological factors one of which is smell. The theory is that we're all giving off cues all the time, both visual ones and then olfactory ones that we can sniff um, that give an indication of someone's current status and that we sort of process all that and go, oh, yeah, those are good. Oh, no, he's not so good. And, you know, people who claim that they fall in love at first sight, that they're, you know, instantly attracted to another person um, might be responding to some of those sorts of cues. So I decided to talk to some of the students at James Cook University in Townsville to find out what turns on Gen Dana Y. Dana Winterburn, 21, and I'm single. The first thing that I find attractive in um, someone else is their eyes, I guess, and if they have a good smile. Um, also, they're, if they're built like biceps and stuff, that's what I pretty much look for and if they have like a nice face. Hi, my name's Pasang Tenzing. Uh, I'm 20 years old, turning 21 this year, and I'm currently single. Probably the first thing would be their eyes, I think, is a big one. Um, obviously because eye contact is usually the first thing you make with someone else, regardless of sex. Um, if they've got really like sparkling or pretty eyes, that's definitely something I noticed first. But hand in hand with turn-ons are turn-offs. Megan Symington, 20 and single. Smoking is the most unattractive thing. I can't stand it. Uh, and probably excessive consumption of alcohol and someone is far too confident in themselves. Peter Senyard, I'm 20 years old and currently single. Bad teeth is definitely the worst thing. Um, yeah, kind of the, the smoker's yellow teeth or really crooked or something like that. Just ugh, definitely massive turn off. These biological cues are important at first, but in the long term, people search for something more. James Cook University student Lucy Siler has been in a long term relationship with her partner Ryan for three and a half years. The relationship developed from a friendship. The pair had to try long distance when Lucy first moved from a property near Chinchilla up to Townsville to study at university. But this has only made their relationship stronger. And I think it's just been constant communication between the two of us. We're both pretty open with thoughts and feelings. Personality is big and whether or not yeah, your life goals are intertwined. And uh, I read in a book that you can be in love with anyone but as soon as that wears off, um, true love is when you can't be without the other person because your roots are so intertwined. Regardless of whether it's biology, psychology or something else, the weight of someone's heart remains somewhat out of our control for now. So all of us charming yet single ladies and gentlemen out there will just have to stay strong and continue fumbling through, trying to master the art of attraction. <laughs>